Welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro. I appreciate you clicking my video. And today we have two AI powered inverters the SUA2000, which is the one with the red color, and we have the SC2000 powered by Yamaha, which is the one with the blue color. Both generators came to my shop with the same common problem, but in this video, we're going to take a look at how to repair one of these AI Power 2000 inverters that won't start. So if you have an AI Power inverter powered by Sensi or by Yamaha, follow the steps on this video and your generator will be running like new. But before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and I really, really appreciate your support. Let's go. All right, so let's waste no time and open them up. One of the first things you can tell by looking at these two generators is that they look exactly the same. Even though one has a Yamaha engine, which in reality is their version of the Dukar engine, which is the engine used in 90% of the generators around that size, the Ryobi 2300, the Pulsar 2300, uh, Generac 2000, all of them out there around that range use the same Dukar engine. No luck with the SU8000, this one won't start. In this case, for both inverters, the problem is caused by the same component, which is the carburetor. We will have to take apart this side of the generator so we can have access to the carburetor. You want access to the carburetor, but to do that, you will need to remove the air box, the air intake hose, and a few nuts and bolts. Now that we got that out of the way, we need to drain the fuel on the carburetor bowl. But to do that, we need to make sure that your off-run choke switch is in the off position. This switch controls your choke, your ignition, and your fuel valve. Make sure it's in off, so that way no fuel reaches your carburetor. Mm -hmm. In the case that fuel won't stop flowing out of the carburetor bowl, you either have your switch not in the off position, it's either on run or choke, or you have it in off and you have a faulty fuel valve. Now 
and I will take a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bottom bolt of the carburetor. Now that I pulled the carburetor ball, you can see it's pretty dirty. And this happens when oil fuel breaks down and leaves behind sticky varnish and debris. Ethanol in gas attracts moisture, which causes corrosion and buildup. And here it is, the number one reason of why a general won't start, dirty main jet. No joke, 90% of the generators I work on daily that won't start is due to a clock main jet. Gently try to unscrew the main jet, but if yours is stuck like mine, don't worry. There's other ways to we can clean that main jet. Check in my description box below where you can find a link to the carburetor cleaning kit that comes with this special wire that we can push through the main jet. So clear and spray with carburetor cleaner your main jet. Also use the brush from the carburetor cleaning kit and clear your emulsion tube. Ideally you would like to remove the main jet and the emulsion tube completely out so you can unclog every hole in there but in this case I won't be able to pull it out I'm showing you guys how to clean it in the spot also make sure that you spray carburetor cleaner through every hole in the carburetor just to make sure you can clear as much as possible Use a wire brush to take out all that varnish stuck to the bowl and to the bottom of the carburetor and spray some carburetor cleaner. And that's it. Once you got the carburetor nice and clean, put it back together and try to get the generator to start. There you go, generator running smooth like new. Let's check voltage and frequency, and then we move on to a load test. So we're, I'm going to connect a space heater and see how the generator reacts to that load. The generator is producing 124 volts at 60 hertz. That's perfect. Idle mode is working great. I always like to connect the loads when I'm doing the test in idle mode because if the generator reacts great at lower RPMs, at regular RPMs, it will work even better.
quick math, this generator is running at 87% of its capacity. And that's it. Thanks for watching another Tactical Power Pro video. If this helped you out, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with anyone trying to keep the power system mission ready. And if you're looking for personalized support, join the Tactical Power Pro membership. In there, I have different tiers apprentice, journeyman, engineer. Each one has his perks. And I'm not talking about like shout out perks and none of that. You will get my direct contact number for a one on one troubleshooting support. You give me a call and I'll help you step by step to identify what's wrong with your generator and how to fix it. Plus, check out the official merch to rep the channel and support the mission. And always remember, knowledge is screwing time's voltage.